A um, couple of things. Columbus Day. I think Columbus Day is coming up at the end of this week. Uh, last year we did a Facebook ad, fourteen ninety two, uh, for a, a month of classes. Some people did fourteen ninety two for two weeks. It's just a way of setting in the date uh, for, for Columbus in uh, a Facebook ad. And like I can say it's going to be one of those things we're going to get fifty students out of that type of Facebook promotion. But there's some people that are looking for martial arts and they've already decided to take martial arts. And when they see something like this come across their line, they go, well, maybe it's time now I try it. It's only $14.92. I'm going to try martial arts. So it gives them that price excuse. It's not one of those ads that's going to get someone's interest into doing martial arts. No, they have to already want to do it and they just want to be looking for a price. Same thing with Halloween. You can have a Halloween spectacular uh, advertisement on Facebook. You know, being the 31st of the month, you can do uh, $1 for six weeks. But again, I'm just throwing out ideas on how to use um, the opportunity to look for people who are looking for price, get them into your school. I'm not saying uh, people looking for price that they're going to be cheap people, but they've already decided they want to do martial arts. So if an opportunity comes up to save money, they're going to save money. So it's not like we're going to the bottom of the barrel here. Because we have so many events, and when you have events, you really want to get people back to your school as soon as possible. Setting up a beginner's martial arts workshop every week during this month, during a basic class, would be a great idea. So if you're doing an event and you're having kids come in, maybe they're doing a pumpkin contest, and they bring a whole bunch of pumpkin carving contest and they're bringing their friends and you can say hey next Wednesday we have a beginners martial arts workshop during that workshop we're going to be doing this this and this we're also going to be covering five tips on uh, standing up against bullying so that's a beginners martial arts workshop everyone's invited to it now since you schedule this during a basic class if someone shows up great if someone shows up or no one shows up, it's still okay. You're teaching that class one way or the other. Um, it's also a good idea if you're doing these events like the uh, uh, Columbus Day advertisement on Facebook, the Halloween Spectacular on Facebook, that'd be a great time to get people to come in for their first class so you're not scheduling individual uh, intros. Uh, bully event. Last week I put out a class plan for the bully event. One of the things I think it's really important is to keep your own identity when you're doing your bullying event. So what I mean by that is how does martial arts training prepare you for so you're not a target of bullying? So now we're just doing what we do and there's value in what we do. Too often people are trying to take a small thing off of Facebook are taking something they learned uh, through Google about bullying, and that's their theme for the bullying class. So this is our theme. We don't do this in a regular class, but this is the theme we're going to practice. Um, but it's really important when people come in that you do martial arts. Um, in my event, we uh, do punching, blocking, kicking. We're doing punching, blocking, kicking. I'm talking about posturing. I'm talking about having self-confidence. I'm teaching kids that people can see self-confidence. They can hear self-confidence. How you can uh, create self-confidence in, in yourself by um, your body language. So I'm using martial arts to show them what martial arts does to prevent kids from being bullied. I'm also going to tell the parents the truth. You know, this is a 45-minute seminar. I wish I can get your kids bullyproofed in 45 minutes. That's not going to happen. But martial arts, I feel, is the best solution because martial arts changes kids. It's not just a tactic for bullying, but changes kids and prepares them. It also gives them confidence where they can back up their self-confidence that they're learning at the school. So teach them martial arts. Show how martial arts uh, can make these things. Give them a couple tips on how they can use what they learn in this class to stand up against bullying, and then present your regular program. Um, if you're bringing in someone, you're just doing five tips of bullying that you found on some psychology website, and then you sign up for martial arts class, they're coming from one thing, you're trying to sign up for another thing, it does not work. Do what you do naturally. You teach martial arts every single day, 
And you may not say it's bullying, but you're preventing kids from being bullied. So do what you do. Explain why martial arts is the answer. And then try to convert people on your regular program that day. So, I mean, that's something you can get really excited about. We all love teaching martial arts. We love to see kids change. Parents are bringing in the kids for a bullying event, and all of a sudden they take a kid away that's all of a sudden changing into a martial artist. He's standing straight. He's proud. It's very, very cool. That's got to be exciting. That's not like a hard thing to do. That's just excitement. Um, part of marketing in October, again, is just sharing different things. It is uh, uh, making sure your lighthouse shines brighter. I give this idea about pink, pink just being awareness of breast cancer awareness. Is that going to give me a lot of new students? Probably not. I'm a, you may not get any new students, but will improve your image in your area where it show people that you're not just about punching, blocking, kicking, but you're out giving good, strong messages, being a force in your community. Yes. So if your uh, students want to wear pink belt, and they're going to pay $20 for pink belt, and you're going to give the profit to a uh, research organization for breast cancer, that's great. You're doing something powerful for the community. Now, if you're going to do that, give them two or three classes. And the parent go, well, he's already taken lessons. Well, great. He gets his pink belt, and he gets to give these two classes to a friend of his. You may want, don't want to do pink belts, but you want to do a wristbands. Maybe you just want to have a picture of an instructor with a pink and a black belt out there. And so we're just showing that our school is doing something positive for the community. And we want to make people aware of breast cancer awareness. It's getting another impression about your school in front of your potential audience. I had uh, Googled the other day, I saw this, it says the magic of uh, uh, seven, and it brought me to a marketing site saying that the average person needs to see your brand seven times before they recognize your brand. So having something to do with pink and being aware in your community is another opportunity to get one of those seven impressions. Outgoing calls every day. You know, the thing is now martial arts schools are getting a lot of leads. Um, and they get a lot of leads, and all of a sudden, a couple weeks go by. In fact, I was talking to one school owner today. He did a promotional booth two weeks ago. He got 60 leads two weeks ago. And so far today, he hasn't called any of those 60 leads. I go, those are just about dead now. They probably don't even remember stopping at your booth. So it's really important if you're going to be proactive on your leads that part of that is outgoing phone calls. You know, we talk uh, with William Pierce every week, and William is really good about automation. And rainmakers have an unfair advantage for automation because a lot of stuff is just done for you. But it's still important that you remember we are a personality-driven business. Even though we like to systemize it, we are a personality business because everyone that has a school that's on this call right now if I ask you your question, is your school a gym or is it more like family? You're all going to say it's more like family. It's more like family because it's a personality-driven business. Go out, make your phone calls every day. Maybe it's 30 a day. Maybe it's 50 a day. Making contact, starting a relationship with people. That is exciting. It's really exciting to share what you're doing. Uh, rack cards. What an easy month to do rack cards especially if you're doing a rack card that has anything to do with Halloween safety. You're going to business, say, hey, get a martial arts school. You know, 12 months out of the year, we're working about kids' safety. It's really important this month that we talk to the kids about safety for Halloween. We have these cards that give 20 different tips for Halloween safety. It also has a special to keep kids safe in our classes. Would, would you help us spread the word? Well, that's pretty easy. I don't think you can get too many people saying, no, you know, we don't care about kids being safe. You know, we're not going to be on your side. That's not going to happen. So it could be an easier time to kind of just share what you do and have 100 other businesses back you up on that. A lot of the events that we do, we're looking for people to come into our school, but there's a lot of things outside that we can do. One of the most overlooked is just your local library. Local libraries have a lot of events for people. 
Um, I remember uh, Krav Maga School opening up in Phoenix, Arizona. They did a library event. And they did a free self-defense class at a library. They had like 100 people show up. It was like totally amazing. Um, volunteering to do a class outside your school, this is a great time. Uh, Rich Kohler up in Connecticut, he's really tied into women's empowerment. And he does a lot of women's groups. He does a lot of corporations. And he'll go in and do a one-hour empowerment. So he teaches self-defense. He teaches a lot about fitness. But he tries to get the message that women can be empowered in a very short amount of time. So within that hour, he has them feeling stronger, acting stronger. Uh, he's really building in that confidence. And he's in demand. I don't know how many thousands of people or thousands of women that he's helped in Connecticut. It wasn't all coming to his school. It was him going out into the community. So, I mean, the last quarter is a great time for that. I saw Tom Baker was doing a uh, VIP referral. He had a picture of his school, and he had, like, pumpkins all over his uh, mirrors. And if kids brought in a friend to either the uh, bully day, if they brought him into the parents' night out, he's doing a pumpkin tournament. Tournament has brought a kid into a pumpkin tournament. Anyone who brings a friend into one of these events gets to pull a pumpkin off the wall. The pumpkin's got a prize on the back of it. It's just fun. Um, I know that seems really simple, but imagine this. You have an event, you have a list of 10 kids that brought a friend. Now you have class, hey guys, glad everyone's here because we need support. We had this, this, and read off the kids that brought in a friend. Guys, you all get a chance to pull off a pumpkin. We're going to have a lot of fun. Everyone, uh, Steven's coming up first. Steven goes up there, drum roll. All the kids are doing drum roll. Steven gets a pick a prize, big thing out of it. Well, how come he got a prize? Because he brought someone to the event. You know, if you want to pick a prize, just bring someone to the event next time. So, you know, we can ask people to bring events, but we constantly have to talk about it. We, you know, we talk about to the parents, hey, I'd really like to have your son or daughter come to the bully prevention class. And if we want to make an impact, which I do in our community, if we can have every one of our students bring in one friend, we can double the impact. That sounds really, really easy. So who's your son going to bring in? Oh, we can do those type of conversations. But to a five-year-old kid, that doesn't really mean anything. Pulling a pumpkin off the mirror and getting a prize means a lot. So we have to hit it for the parent's point of view and the kid's point of view. I know uh, one time in uh, Coral Springs, I just wanted to decorate the school for Halloween. It's funny because – I, one of my clients here in West Palm Beach just put that they went to get a styrofoam pumpkin at, I forgot, some store yesterday, like at Home Depot, and she said she ended up spending $468 just on <laughs> Halloween decorations. So in Florida, I just want to have balloons. I was going to have orange and black balloons all over the place. What's well, a great thing to do for your um, a VIP referral. So some brings in a friend, they get to pick a balloon, inside the balloon is a prize. So again, you know, make it fun, um, make it visual. Uh, when I bought Fred Palmer School in Arizona, I did this, I, I did buy it in October. We just gave everyone free birthday parties. If they had a birthday party going from the, uh, before the end of the year, we started free birthday parties because I wanted to do it in October because that would seem to be a pretty big birthday month. I knew I wanted to do something for them in November for student appreciation. And I want to do something in December because it's all about giving back gifts. So I just went with a clipboard and anyone who had a birthday party between now and the rest of the year, they got it for free. Now, if you want to do it for a discount, if you want to just say, I'm going to do the birthday party for free, the only thing you have to bring is a soda and pizza. Let them bring their own soda and pizza, whatever. But again, every time you do a birthday party, what you're doing is a mass intro. You have someone else bringing all their friends, and you have the opportunity to uh, just show people how great they you are, how great your school is, what you do for all these kids. And some people are going to sign up. Some people are going to say, Hey, I had a great time. I'm not ready yet. That's all okay. It's all about spreading the seeds. Sometimes the seeds go on uh, fertile ground. Sometimes the seeds fall on rock. But get a bunch of kids to your birthday party. 
school system. I know that, well, quite a few have done this already, but if you haven't contacted the school system during the last quarter, it's a great idea. We're talking to the, uh, uh, doing a parent side out fundraiser or doing like a six week mini course fundraiser where all the proceeds go to the PTO. Uh, this is a matter a lot of times of just talking to your students, parents, find out who's involved with the PTO. Guaranteed you have parents in your classes that are very active with the PTO. I'll tell them your idea. We want to do something and give back to the school system. So I was thinking about doing a fundraiser. Do you think you could help us with this? In fact, I was going to teach all the classes, charge an amount of money for like $69, and give all the proceeds to the PTO. I mean, if I got like 20 kids, I could give almost $1,500. Well, they'll help connect you with the right people. Um, I don't want to really do all the details with the, the parents side out fundraiser or the uh, school fundraiser, but it's a great idea. If you haven't done it or you don't know what the heck I'm talking about and need more information, I'd be glad to give that information. I was talking to my daughter, Valerie. She's part of the PTO. They had a meeting a couple weeks ago. It was all about their budget. When she was looking down the budget, she noticed that the school system has $2,500 allocated to bully awareness. So this could be bringing in a guest speaker. This could be for resources like uh, buying uh, uh, booklets. But schools do have a budget for bully prevention. So if you don't want to try to get in as the freebie, but if you want to call the school system and say, you know, I'm an expert in bully prevention. You know, we do a program called Mission Bully Proof. I've spoken to different schools. Uh, this is Bully uh, Awareness Month. I just want to tell you that I do have a few days available. I'd love to come in and present an assembly. I only charge $400 per hour for my assembly. I mean, sometimes by putting value on your uh, program, it sounds like or the perception is that you're coming in just to teach bully prevention for kids, and we're paying you for that. It takes away the perception that, hey, I'm willing to do this for free because I'm going to market the heck out of all your students and try to get sign them all up. Well, you know, they may rather just pay you and say, okay, I'm just hiring a professional coming in. I'm not getting some just karate guy who's doing for free, but this guy's a professional speaker, so I'm going to charge for that. Now, we probably can get some confirmation from Scott Axmit because uh, Scott Axmit's on today, and I know he goes to a lot of uh, corporations. It gets paid very, very well to come in and be a speaker. He's not begging to come in trying to sign the people up after his uh, presentation. The presentation has a lot of value and corporations are willing to invest in that. Same thing with getting paid to be a speaker in the school system. Uh, a couple other things you can be doing, something you may want to embrace. I put this letter on the Rainmaker Business Solution last week. It was called Star for a Day. It's just a letter a kid can bring to his teacher, it's from you, it just says we have a student in common and uh, I would like to be able to come in and show off Stephanie to her class, kind of like a show and tell, make her a star for the day. So you can do that, again, with your 100 students, 100 students inviting that to the teachers, I'm sure you're gonna get into the school system three or four times. Also, since the kids are getting, uh, or you, you just finished doing a graduation last month. People should have brought in their intent to promote. And then your intent to promote, there is a spot saying for the teacher if uh, they would like to be contacted for a school talk. Report cards are coming out soon. If you haven't already called the school system, say you want to become a partner in education and provide honor roll certificates for kids making honor roll, you should do that now. School systems love it when um, corporations and businesses in their town, which I'm talking about you, is going to give them something of value to give to the students to reward the students who make honor roll. You know, Burger King may give a hamburger or a Happy Meal for McDonald's, and what you're going to do is give a certificate for a free month of classes. It's just a nice certificate. Uh, you can roll them up, put a ribbon on it. When kids get uh, honor roll in school, the school system give these uh, things out to the kids 
So now you're getting co people coming in, trying a free month, and these are all kids that heard about your school through the honor roll system. So as you can see, there's an awful lot of stuff. So this is like my October Marketing Fest. Um, Robert Spoon again yesterday said, man, you just put a lot of stress on me. <laughs> I'm not really uh, putting stress on you. I'm trying to give you, man, some exciting opportunities to share your passion. I mean, your passion is your martial arts school. Your passion is what you do for kids. And now you have all these opportunities to talk about it all month and really end up with a real strong last quarter. Uh, for people who did the contest, and I look at Steve D. because last month, uh, he missed out by first place by one student, which is a technicality, but he still couldn't accept the prize. But what'd you do, uh, Mr. Gastil, 47 people? Oh, I can't hear you. Well, you're gonna have to do sign language. Well, anyway. He had, he had an excellent month, 47 people. 47 people one month is phenomenal. Uh, that was our contest for September. Um, we had one Dave um, Hart. He did almost 100 new students in his two locations. And the coolest thing is he did 100 students in his two locations in August also. So in two months, he signed up 200 students. He embraced one marketing idea that we talked about in August, and that was going into meet the teachers days in local uh, schools uh, where kids go in, meet the teachers, pick up the books. He had a uh, booth out there. He invited everyone in the community to come in and do an ABCs of Success class. Uh, ABCs of Success is uh, one of the marketing tools we use for Mass Intro since like 19... 98 or so so it's been around for a long time it's nothing new but it's gold it teaches kids about setting goals achieving goals about having confidence and belief in themselves and he ended up enrolling 200 people in two months just go out being chest to chest belly to belly with other people talking about his program enthusiastically having a passion for what he does inviting people into his school yes i would scott <laughs> I'll help you with that. Any questions, comments? Um, we have instructor college. Oh, Steve DeCastile says he's up to 22 people in October this month, or this month, so that's seven days in both of his, his locations. Good job, sir. Um, November uh, 8th and 9th, we're doing an event down here in Palm Beach. It's going to be Instructor College. Um, it's going to be a different format in that we're going to do a lot more training and less talking. Uh, one of the things that I'm taking a course at church, and one of the things that the instructor there goes, hey, if you're talking, you're teaching. If they're talking, they're training. They're really getting empowered when they train. So I took a lot of stuff we did from Instructor College and put it in training format. So it's gonna be different. Uh, we're gonna have a written test this time at the college to get your certificate. So it's getting everyone thinking, and give me a chance to review what we did in college. It's gonna be myself, Mr. D. Castile is gonna be doing some Krav Maga training. Derek Frader is gonna come down. Um, he's gonna do a leadership seminar the day before at this man's school. The whole idea is to get 50 or 60 kids in that seminar, and he's gonna show you how to do a mass upgrade. So that, that's kind of a, a new thing in there. Uh, Diego Perez called me last night. He goes, hey, can I come to Instructor College? I go, man, I'd love to have you come to Instructor College. Master Perez is just a phenomenal instructor. I wish we could teach charisma. If we could teach charisma, we could just model Diego Perez. And that's probably one of the most important things is having charisma when you hit the floor. So we always enjoy him uh, coming to classes. So if you're going to sign up for that, please sign up as soon as possible. There's a Rainmaker link on the Rainmaker Business Solution page. The reason for that is this time we really can only get 100 people because the school we're doing at, it's in West Palm Beach. It's a beautiful school but it's a limited floor space. 100 people is gonna be pretty crowded. So um, 
we are going to just stop it at that because I don't want people saying, hey, this is a great event, but it's too crowded. So we do have to stop it. So if you plan on going, just commit yourself so uh, we have a good uh, count. Any comments? Additions? Okay, guys. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay, everyone, I'm going to sign off. I'll put this recording on. I uh, hit record about five minutes into it, but we didn't really get rolling until about 10 minutes into it. So <laughs> we're good. All right, everyone, take care. We will see you tomorrow with William Pierce. All right, sir.